I don't know what to do with my oh, hands. I got one to worry about, so it's, <laughs> uh, it's nice, you know? It's nice. <laughs> All right, so uh, what did I say last time? Flight Tales. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Yeah, so here we are on uh, Flight Tales. Woo. Woo-hoo. We got producer Dustin right here. So Pro Dustin. Dustin. Pro Dustin. Hey. Pro. hey. And we're here with Brian Hayes, who is, uh, well, a one arm pilot. pilot. A yeah. one-armed pilot. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Let's call it what it is. Yeah, it is a one-armed pilot. And he uh, currently works fish spotting? That's correct. Yeah. <clears throat> Omega Protein, Harvest Ocean Harvesters, they changed the name. It's multiple names. Oh. But anyways. I yeah. didn't know they changed the name. Yeah. So we'll just call it Omega Protein because that's okay. what everybody knows locally. Yeah, Omega Protein. Yeah. Fish okay. spot. I met Brian a long time ago. We're going to go way back to 19. No, I don't think it was 19. Before I had gray hairs. No, it wasn't. So it was. Uh, no, yeah, before I had gray hairs too. It would have been going on About nine years now. 20. Well, that had to have been like 2012 or 2013 or yes, somewhere around there. That's right. 2013. You know what? <coughs> uh, it was about 2012 or 2013 because I think I waited a year before I started flying. I started working at Pelican. Yeah. <clears throat> and I waited a year saving up money as a lineman before I started flying. And I think my first log is 2014, if I remember correctly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I do remember you working at Pelican. Yeah. I remember you filling the airplanes. And I remember you telling me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn to fly. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, you're crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I was saying a minute ago. Yeah. Like, left construction. I decided, I said, what do you want to do with your life? Well, I'm tired of this. I'm going to fly. Yeah. So I just went over, started going to airports, trying to find a job. Come to find out, uh, nobody was hiring. Anyways, bugged Al and Rock. A month later, they laid off somebody, mm-hmm. and uh, they hired me. Walked in the door, and I said, look, I said, I plan on being here four to six years, and I want to learn to fly be a pilot. He looked at me like I was crazy also. <laughs> <you know? laughs> but Yeah, he whatever. Needed, he needed, yeah, <laughs> he needed a position filled, so he, he hired me. Yeah. You know? Did you have any problems working over there as far as? My With arm. one arm and all uh, that, yeah. No, no. You know, they tested me to make sure I can climb yeah. up on the seaplanes. That was probably the only real thing. Carry those heavy fuel hoses, the big fuel hoses. Yeah. Or pick the big fuel like hoses up. Like for jet, jet fuel for jet, and stuff. For under yeah. the wings on the uh, 787s, yeah. 777s or whatever next door. Yeah. And uh, so, no, you know, just, just find a way. As long as you can do it. Yeah. I guess we started flying, you said 2014, so we started flying in 2014, and I don't know the time frame, I was trying to think the time frame, like months-wise, but do you remember when you solo? I remember solo, like and month? I don't remember the time, Yeah, but the date, I'm sorry, the date or anything, but I remember soloing, that was a windy crosswind day, Yeah, 11, 11 knots if I remember correctly, direct. In which you know nowadays that ain't nothing. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah, you're a seasoned pilot now. But you know, uh, big dog. First one took <laughs> off, landed fine. Second yeah. one wasn't fine. Yeah, <laughs> second <laughs> one I hit it pretty hard, and uh, but I, I bounced back up, got kept going. Then I was like that third one was like, oh crap! I was like I should have just I stayed down come, there. I gotta come back down now. I know. I was like I should have just stayed on the ground. Oh, yeah, now I'm all nervous. <laughs> Well, play, you know, here I am. Ended up working out. Working out, you know. Yeah, I remember flying with you, and you had, um, you know, you, what you, when you first started flying, I remember us trying that leather prosthetic thing you had, you put on your arm. I don't know if it, it wasn't really. Yeah, it was. I I don't know if you called it prosthetic, but it was basically I made it. It was a piece of leather strap that went on my my nub here, and a leather piece of leather, and I I, uh, used paracord as the the string to, to like, lace it up like a shoe. Yeah. Had a strap that went under this arm, and I had a leather belt-like piece with a little buckle. And I made that to kayak. Oh, okay. So uh, I used, I strap it onto a kayak hand on the opposite side and a kayak like that. And uh, so I just thought maybe it would be a good idea to try on the yoke, which... It didn't, in, in hindsight, I'm glad it didn't. Yeah. Because yeah. I think that, you know, my goal was to get my license with no restrictions. Yeah. And if I would have had that on there, then uh, they might have considered me having a apparatus, you know, so yeah. it put me a restriction. Yeah. So it worked out that, uh, you know, that didn't work out. I remember. You know? I remember you putting it on the yoke, and then it just didn't have enough. It didn't tighten enough to, to move the yoke. So you would, 
have a bunch of slack when you try to move your arm and so then you throw it off and throw it in the back yeah just yeah, got mad like, i got it, it back, i got it i don't need this you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like everything else i don't yeah. like yeah <laughs> get yeah. mad throw it in the back yeah just throw it in the back but I don't think you got your medical right away. You had to. Uh, no, no. I think we had to go. We we kind of started flying, and then you had started working on your medical at some point between solo and 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 when we started flying. Well, the deal with the medical was is I had to fly with a FAA, a guy from yeah. Fisdo. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what his. I remember term him coming. Was. I don't remember yeah. his name. I kind of remember. I can picture him. <clears throat> But yeah, I remember him sitting in the back. Yeah, I feel like his name was Bob or something. But George, anyways. I think it was George. George that's Waddell. it. It was it. George, George. Waddell. Yeah. God, yeah. see, I can't remember what I did yesterday. I uh, know, but you can remember 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. 10 years ago, you can remember what you did yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, 10 years from now. <laughs> no, so George, and he was, uh, as they say, you know, by uh-huh. the book and strict. Man. Yeah. I remember going around that plane. I do, on my checklist, I would look at uh, three items. Yeah. And I would do like three items and then look at my book for yeah. the check all three items. You know, doing the walk around. He's like, no. He's like, look at your item, check it. Yeah. Look, I'm like, oh, Lord, here we oh, go. Oh, yeah, this yeah. I do kind of remember that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember, so I remember he got in the back seat. He got in the back seat and then we started taxiing now. New Iberia is just the Acadiana Airport. It's just one runway, one taxiway. Mm-hmm. So it's not, it's it's kind of hard to get lost. Yeah. And well, I remember yeah. I remember him saying, well, where's your where's your airport diagram? <laughs> and, and and we were like, well, I mean, we fly here all the time. So, and it's like one runway, one taxiway. He's like, no, no, you, it doesn't matter. You got to have your airport diagram. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Because I was so nervous. This at that one point. just popped in my head. I just, yeah. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> And then and then we went flying and we did stalls and I guess slow flight because uh, he was just looking for if you can do the maneuvers and like yeah. he wasn't looking to see to test you as like ACS standards or PTS right. standards check. He just wanted standards. to see if I could be safe and do cross winding yeah. and all that stuff and the stalls. Yeah, and all this. The and I remember him critiquing the stall like we did a power off stall and he's like, "Well, why are you pulling the nose so high?" Because yeah and just you just need to bring it just above the horizon just that's how you would do it in real life which yeah. made a lot of sense to me we were doing yeah because we were pulling it way back. old school standard yeah oh yeah pointing it up in the sky so yeah fully stalling it and yeah. all that and he didn't want all that no he made it easier actually yeah 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 so i've been teaching it that way since then yeah that's well, that's the standard so yeah but uh no george was a good guy and we flew with him and then uh what? the best thing was at the end when he said uh he's like well I can't give you no restrictions. Yeah. And I'm like, all right. Yeah. 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 So. And what, did you do second? You did a second class medical. Yeah. Class. So if anybody's watching this and you're in my situation, <laughs> yeah. go get the first go class ahead, medical. Get the first class. Because the FA and if anybody in the FA is watching, y'all got to fix this because <laughs> I'm a pilot. That's He's so, selling. <laughs> I'm like almost 6,000 hours. And yeah, if I want I have a second class soda. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. demonstrative yeah, ability. Yeah. And if I want to get a first class, supposedly I have to go and do the whole entire just what thing we did again. again. Yeah, yeah, okay. The whole yeah, entire wow. thing again, which is yeah, you know. And yeah. then, oh, then well, the worst part is that I have to cancel my cancel my medical. Yeah, that's what I'm about I gotta to ask. wait anywhere from three to five months. Yeah, and I got a job. I can't do that if it is. Yeah. so you need to change it. But <laughs> change the rules. Yeah, <laughs> or fix or, it. Or fix it. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, Moral of the story is we should have just went ahead and you should have gotten a first class yeah. the first time. I got and then scared. Been... I got nervous, I guess, because not knowing. You know, I mean, I yeah. got into aviation. I didn't know anybody. I never knew a pilot in my life. I've only flew one commercial flight in my life, never flew in a small plane. So I didn't have no idea, you know. Yeah, what and, to do. If what How it was going to be, especially going what? into this with one hand. Well, and you, like, you were my first yeah. student to have some kind of disability. I mean, not yeah. really. You know, I mean, no, you yeah, get your one arm. Limitation. Limitation, yeah. whatever you want to call well, it. You know? limit- whatever you want to call it. Yeah, whatever you want to call one it. One arm. One arm. <laughs> he got one arm. First student I ever had, you know. So yeah. well, I didn't know what to do. I mean, I barely knew what a soda was, you know. Yeah. When I started flying with you, I learned all about that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, if I have somebody now, then I'll tell them, go do first class. Yep. Because no telling where you're going to go. That's right. In your aviation career. So That's right. It's, I can go do it. And yeah. supposedly there's Well, a, you'd be out of work, so, though, for however long it takes, well, though, right? Well, if- as as of what I know now, the doctor here locally that I was going to, I can't remember his name, supposed to be in, around Dallas that I'm supposed to go see. Oh, okay. And he's, he's supposed to know how to fix this yeah. without me having to do all that. Because, I mean, 
if I want to do something else, I'll yeah. need it. You know, I don't. Need I mean, it now, you, you, if you, if you go to the airlines, you're yeah. gonna have to get an ATP, and then you're gonna yeah. have to have first class medical. That's right. So, yeah, I remember going through all that stuff, and then we ended up. Uh, what's that, Pro Dustin? Okay, Pro Dustin wants to ask something. So, Pro Dustin asks, "Have you always wanted to fly?" So, uh, when I was a kid, um, I had an interest. And I liked aircrafts and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yes, but it was one of those things that goes in your mind. You're like, oh yeah, you know, yada yada. Yeah, whatever. Probably, probably, maybe never not. gonna happen. Probably, just a dream, you know. So then, when I was about hmm, 18, 19 years old, uh, it used to be called Noble Flight here in Lafayette. Yeah, I remember Noble Flight. <clears throat> so I called them up, and they were like, it's like two hundred fifty something dollars a flight an yeah. hour, and I'm yeah. like, total, and I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, how many hours I need? <laughs> <laughs> And when they tell me how start many hours I need math, before I yeah. get start doing a, before I get a job, right? Yeah. Two hundred and fifty hours before you commercial, and I'm like, uh, well, no, nah, yeah, I can't do that. I can't do it. You know, years went by, many years went by, and then you know, mm-hmm. it came back around, and I guess it came back to me because it was there, and I just said, really, I had a, I was doing construction, mm-hmm. I was working so much, uh, six days a week, ten to twelve hours a day. My son was. I had a son, and that whole time he was a year old. Yeah, um, I didn't really see him much except for on Sundays. Oh, and you're oh, yeah. doing construction, and I was like, "All right, I'm done. Yeah, like, I gotta, I gotta do something else." Yeah, and I felt like it was the fastest. It would be a fast route. Yeah, and uh, it's funny because going to be a lineman, you'd believe it or not, is the position that I held in construction was I was lead man on the crew, operator, and running a crew essentially, and. Uh, I was making more money, a little bit more money, working at Pelican. Really? As a lineman. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought that. I thought yeah. you'd be more they were the money. Best, they were the best paid linemen, I would, uh, from what I know, because yeah. of the fact that the uh, we had the contract. They did the- uh, Oh, the, the way uh, they, military. The way we did the- uh, He gave us a fuel percentage yeah. bonus every month. Yeah. So that, that you know, and we were selling a lot of fuel at the time I was working yeah. there. And uh, so, yeah, I made a little bit more as I did working construction. And uh, which worked out, and it, yeah. but it gave me more time off, you know. Yeah, more I still time worked a home. lot, but it gave me more time off to fly. So yeah, I'd work on my license. You would come hour. after work, yeah, because y'all had different shifts. So like, mm-hmm. you might start in the morning, but then you get off kind of so, early enough to go fly. Yeah, it was like a each every week was different, so it was like a three week rotation type yeah. thing. So one week you worked from you know open till one yeah. o'clock. The second week you worked from I think nine or ten till close and then you work the late shift the third week and you'd work weekends and etc cetera, et cetera. Yeah. so it gave me time to be able to so after work i would you know fly or yeah. study or do ground school yeah. so yeah it was just finding a job that fit you know to be able to make it happen like that you know in the last podcast we talked about focusing focusing on <clears throat> brennan's here all the time studying and doing everything so being able to focus and having spending more time to study and stuff, yeah. you know, make it a little bit easier for. I will say for people out there, um, I was, you know, had a wife and two kids. Yeah. In this time frame. Yeah. Um, uh, my wife didn't work; she stayed home, took care of their kids, and uh, just worked as a lineman and was able to make it happen. You know, and yeah, uh, pay for the. You know, it was yeah. living expenses and be able to fly. Yeah, the whole wow. thing, yeah. and. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got a penny pinch. Yeah, average. I was making around forty thousand dollars a year. Yeah, you know, so doing it all on that, you know, but seriously, penny pinching. Yeah, I mean, there was other benefits in there with the flying, with the plane, so that helped out. Yeah, you know? that's, that's right. You had you had Pelican had their own had a one seventy two. They let you use basically for free, right? That's right. Yeah, that's right. Because I worked there, so that was a benefit. Yeah. But that's the thing. Like, I, that's a good part of the story because what I learned is if you want something in life, just go for it. Mm-hmm. because you don't know what's going to unfold. Yeah. If you overthink it, then you're never going to do true. it. And for me to be to lay it all out, I went for it. I didn't know how it was going to work. Mm-hmm. And I said to myself, I said, I don't care how it's going to work. I don't care how long it's going to take. No matter how hard it is, I'm doing this. Yeah. Because I'm not doing construction forever. Yeah, forever, yeah. Yeah, and I did. And then next thing you know, the aviation community is – obviously they like this you yeah. get there and people are like okay this guy's serious yeah and uh he really wants to be a pilot and yeah. then people, and everybody opens people, up to help you yeah people yeah. come out of the woodworks to help out yeah. rock let me use his plane for 
that t- all that duration of time mm-hmm. to fly and then along the lines it became other people lending me a plane yeah or charging me giving me a discount on a plane or uh you know and then i met i don't know if i should say his name i feel like i want to say his name but he doesn't like that recognition but uh, i'll just say his first name i met dick and he paid for my tailwheel endorsement my seaplane license oh, and stuff yeah. like it sent me to do it you know yeah. cause he wanted me to start moving his planes from yeah. around the country and stuff yeah. like his cubs and stuff yeah. you know and uh He's like, look, I'll send you to do this. This is the deal. You, I'll send you to do that, and I'll pay for that. You do this for me. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> As a yeah. pilot, you're like, that's a win-win. Well, you, you try know? to get it. You know, I mean, when you're new in it, you know, it's hard to get those breaks. Say you get, you just get your commercial. You get 250 hours or 300 hours. Insurance don't like you, so it's hard. Right. To, it's hard to get those jobs because of your low time. Yeah. You know, insurance is a big thing. So that's why most people go into flight instructing because that's the easiest way build the time and then right. they end up moving on to something else right so yeah i was around 500 hours and that's the thing man that's just how life works sometimes you just you decide something and you pursue it yep and things start falling into place and so anyways i was there at pelican for four and a half years and around that four-year mark the airport in Abbeville got shut down so all the fish spotters started landing in New oh Iberia. yeah okay what did they redo the runway is that they, what it was they did something they did yeah some kind of control. i don't remember exactly okay. but yeah some work i kind of remember and, that. Uh, they all started flying in and uh, started meeting them. And next thing you know, when I started working on my commercial over there in Abbeville, because I was using a plane in Abbeville, yeah. I got talking to the head boss, which I didn't know was the head boss. I went saw him feeling up one day and I just went talk to him oh, okay, about yeah. his job. Yeah. I knew he was a fish spotter because I've seen him before, but I didn't know he was the head boss. Yeah, He's like, yeah, you working on your commercial? I'm like, yeah, I'll take my check ride in two weeks. He's like, uh, or about a month I think it was actually and he's like okay he's like I'll tell you what he's like you interested in you think you'd be interested in fish spotting and I'm like yeah that's why I came to talk to you just to see what it was about you know and he's like you keep bugging me you know oh yeah and so over a course of the next month or so like that maybe it was a little longer than that uh, I would see him a few times and I talked to him and then yeah. uh, and then he hired me on and uh, told me to come in it was a September of tw- uh, 1st of 2017 Golly, it's been that long, huh? Yeah. Have you done any instrument flying since you did your training? Hmm. (laughs) (laughs) No? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but I remember you doing the training in uh, in 5.3 Juliet. We did most of the instrument training in 5. You did the private and most of the instrument training in in 5.3 Juliet. That's right. Old school, old six-pack because uh, what was it that was out? I don't old re- instruments, and I can't remember what it is that tracks the distance from the AD. Oh, the, the a- ND, uh, DME? 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 Was it the DME? Was out. Yeah. The DME was out. Yeah, oh, okay. distance measuring yeah. equipment. And, uh, Didn't you take it to the radio shop? I did everything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think and I remember. And the radio shop for like oh, a year. Yeah. Was yeah. it that long? Yeah. Okay. I and do then, remember you taking it up there to try to get it fixed, and, yeah. and they didn't. Uh, yeah, he told me. Anyways, yeah, uh, it didn't get fixed. It didn't get fixed. Yeah, and uh, so <laughs> that was a, that was this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, so it, it didn't get fixed, and then Th- that's right, it didn't get fixed. And so at the very end end of my instrument training, which I had been learning all the old school way, right? Yeah, you had your plane. You had just put that GPS in there. That yeah, Garmin. I had that one seventy two, seven five two, and I'd put the uh, that uh, uh, Garmin six fifty in there. That's right. And so, like at the very end, I had to relearn that, which GPS is easy. Yeah, but as a student, you're nervous. Yeah. You know, every little thing, at least me, kind of, you know, shakes you up a little bit. Yeah. And uh, so anyways, and that was a fun instrument ride. But <laughs> <laughs> who'd, you, who'd you do your private check ride with? And, and was it? Both of them with Peyton. Okay. All right. I did all three with Peyton. Yeah. Actually. Okay. Except for my multi I did with, uh, which I do have my Was brother. that with Chris, uh, Daryl? No, I, no, that was with uh, that was his plane, but that uh, I did it with uh, Ryan Roberts. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, all right, he's a cool with, guy. Cool yeah, because sure. uh, cool. um, well, Daryl, okay, Daryl's done a lot of people's multi in, in his plane. Did he do the training for you? No, I learned with uh, it was Madeline. Oh, okay, because the insurance and stuff. Okay, she was insured. Well, I know a lot of people that went down to Homa to, to fly with Daryl to do their multi. He would train them. Yeah. No, I didn't do him. Uh, and then that was Ryan. the deal was that if she did it, he would allow the plane to stay in Abbeville for that duration, oh, I see. Okay. For, for that duration of time. Yeah. So, cause he's 
close ties with her or whatever. So yeah. they got a fr- bond, a friendship. I guess he's still doing multi. I don't know. I, I don't think know. he still has a plane or he has a different one now. Okay. I think he's got another 310. Yeah. It's a 310. It was 310. Yeah, that's right. So you started, what, 2013 and then finished up and, well, you got the job in 2017. I started in 2014. My first flight 14. was in 2014. Okay, 14. And then I got the job in 2017. So about three, three years. years. Yeah. yeah. That was faster than you told Rock. No, see, I worked at Pelican a year before oh, okay. I started flying. All right, all right, all right. So I worked four. at Pelican ex- exactly a four and a half years. Okay. And I told him four to six years I'll be there. Okay, so you so kept your I word. I gave him an extra six. I gave him an extra six months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one question about uh, when you did your check ride instrument check ride Peyton. I remember him asking, you know, what's the difference between DME and GPS? And I remember you having a hard time with that question because I knew what he was asking, but he was, but you were struggling but i yeah. mean that's because you had gotten started using gps later on yeah and we never really used we never used the dme okay because it, it didn't never have worked. a dme right? okay we were using i forgot what method how you were doing it exactly to find dis- district uh distance, distance measuring yeah. distance while i was under the hood because we did it that way because we thought that the dme was going to be gonna fixed, be fixed eventually. and then i'll just quickly learn the dme yeah and then you know what i mean yeah and so but, and she got bringing back all these all these memories. I know, but uh, my hold that was the thing that was the thing that I'll never forget was uh, oh that was you had trouble with that in the check it was run? calculating the uh, winds or how to oh, do the, the one oh. minute for the hold yeah and I know I'm messing the terminology all up and how to explain it but basically when he's you, a, he's a fish spotter yeah, yeah yeah so, so <laughs> forgive me uh, I don't do holds yeah I, actually, I, I do but they're IFR about, I do so. holds but they're about this big around. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> there it is. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> I mean, look, hey, no, no, I was being serious. He went the wrong way with that, but no, anyway. Oh, we can't finish the story now. Uh, uh, no. So I was doing the holds, and you know, you have to have your one minute yeah. out, and you have to, if you have wins or whatever, you're going to correct me on this. Please don't leave me hanging. Oh, here. no. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, it want, you want one minute inbound and then right, adjust the your leg. outbound leg to, right. uh, yeah, to make the one minute inbound. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Well, I messed that all up, just like I'm doing right now. Yeah. And I never learned it. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> That's my fault. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of was. You yeah. took a, you took the blame for that yeah. in that training. But, yeah. uh, but, uh, but it's, so, it's all good. We, I, mean, we, I never we've forget my legs. Huh? We've gotten better now, you know. Yeah. And my legs were sweating. My legs were Wait, sweating in out of the that hole. Check rock? Oh. Well, yeah. Went messing up that hole. Damn, yeah. My leg. Oh, dude. That was the worst. I thought I was failed. I thought I, I thought he was feeling me. Oh yeah, because oh dude, I got so nervous. I never had my legs sweat. I felt the sweat going on my leg. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah, yeah. But anyways, that was the only really mistake that and yeah. the, the one you had mentioned earlier. And he was. I like, think you had walked. Uh, he had said that you got to it. You, yes. He had to. You know. He, correct. You, you eventually got to the right answer. You know to correct understand and he, it. Yes, and he. Uh, yeah. We made it right. Yeah. You know, so to speak, it was an adventure for sure because. Uh, Especially, I mean, it's an adventure for every guy. Yeah. But uh, going out there for any other amputee pilots out there, you know, I'd say, you know, if you want to do it, just do it. Mm-hmm. Because there's, I didn't know at the time, I didn't know of any other amputee pilots. Yeah. You know. Uh, didn't you I, read about some? I thought you had read about some. It was some la- ahead way of time. later. Oh, uh, okay. I, I, I thought but, that was before you no, started. No, it was way later. I just basically hopped in it, and they, and obviously they did exist, but I didn't know. Yeah. When you have people to look at that's in the same situation as you, it's a little more motivating, yeah. right? Or you know, makes Helping. it a little easier to know it's possible. So yeah, I had planned to start an Instagram page, and I did. Oh yeah, I did. I did start an Instagram oh. page. I, See, I I did do I, it. I, I don't even but, know about uh, that. But to to post my journey, yeah. you know, but I suck at that, so I never posted anything. Oh, you know, so sorry. But anyway, you know, <laughs> but there's a lot of look, us I out was gonna there. go look for it. I thought yeah. you. Had the st- no, I still have it now, but it ain't what it, it meant it to be. Oh, it's, you know, uh, yeah. I just, I'm not. I don't know. I've never been comfortable to, you know, post myself. I yeah. guess as much, and uh, that's why, I like, you know, you're lucky I showed up today. I know yeah. <laughs> we are lucky to have him here. Most of the time, he. Makes flakes. excuses. Yeah, <laughs> flakes. <laughs> I do remember like when you were practicing landings, you know, once you got out of that leather thing, you know. I had a name for it. Yeah, whatever that thing's called. And uh, <laughs> and you would, uh, you know, come in trying to do landings and I'd, 
and you'd have to hold with your nub, you'd have to hold the yoke and then use your other hand for the throttle. And so out the corner of my eye, I'd see arms and legs flying all over the place. And I'm like, man, this landing is going to be rough. I better brace myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I, they'd come out smooth. Like it just end up. It's just the way it works. Yeah. I tell people that today as like, like somebody would fly with me, like, let's say whatever, somebody would get in there with me. I said, you know, taking off is easy. I said, but I still ain't got the landings out right, you know, yeah. with this one arm stuff. You yeah. Know? Kind of freak yeah. him out a little bit. <laughs> if anybody's ever wondered, and I do, I do, po I have posted me landing an aircraft oh, on, have you? on Instagram. Okay. And uh, just as, as yeah. of last summer, uh, I'm on Instagram as Brian Hayes, B R I A N H A Y E S 86. And uh, you could see me how I land. And it is a spotter landing. It's not, you know, oh, a, yeah, that's a Boeing a, they, 757 oh, landing. Oh, I was thinking the, the traffic patterns, uh, you cut everybody else off. and you, yeah, 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 yeah. It's one of those. Yeah, one of those. But there's a luck, line, unfortunately, there's a line on final, and y'all are just coming in like, and you know, and, quarter yeah. mile. Not yeah. even quarter, like a... Just power off 180 <laughs> yeah. and land. That's <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I had to go, man. You know, oh, been okay, up that's what a, it is. I've been up that's in right, you've been there for four hours. hours. Five, if you count my traveling, almost five hours, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm so y'all go out. I thought, okay, I thought y'all had four-hour shifts. We have four-hour shifts, but depending on where we're fishing, I'll be in there for five hours sometimes. Because okay. the four hours is from over the boat and leaving the boat, yeah. four hours. So travel time is 30 minutes typically, or it could be a little bit more. We have six hours of fuel on board. Okay. So oh, y'all got long range? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, long range tanks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you would. You got some bottles in there, I guess. And uh, I do have bottles in there. <laughs> sometimes I forget to empty. I got two, and sometimes I forget to empty one. <laughs> I get in my plane the next day, and I yeah. fill one of them up, and then I got two for one that I gotta oh, go. And I'm like, crap. <laughs> like, well, you just open the window. No. Yeah. <laughs> it comes back inside. Oh, bro. okay. Yeah. Never had to do that. I was, this is a different podcast. I could tell you some stories. <laughs> Yeah. Not of me, not Wait. of me, yeah. and I wouldn't say no names, but uh, you know, people are trying to throw stuff. We're out not the gonna edit this one out. No, no. <laughs> how long you? Uh, how long you been fish pod? I, I don't uh, know if a, we said it already, but no. Uh, yeah. we'll be going on my seventh season starting up in April. Okay. Yeah. So and we fly a lot. My fly. I'm probably. Yeah, you're like doing 700 hours in a in six months. Uh, or six is months, two weeks. That? I'm around averaging 850. Sometimes close to 900. Yeah. Sometimes wow. low season. Low time would be 800, maybe a little less. And that's but, uh, some people's year, you know? Yeah. Like, and you're doing it in six months. Yeah. You know? Yeah, we fly five days a week, eight hours a day. Yeah. A little more, 10, you know, yeah. 10 hours a day sometimes, typically a lot. That's during the summer, middle of the summer, mm -hmm. doing the 10 yeah. hours. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good job. I mean, it's a unique job. It's different than the aviation world. There's only. I think 30 of us in the entire Gulf and there's only a few of us in the Atlantic and there's the a same few, company. Yeah. 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 And there's a few people that do it up in Alaska or used to, I can't remember if they still do, but, uh, yeah. It's, well, there's just so many things you can do in aviation. So like, yeah. you know, I mean, I don't know if anybody ever even thinks about doing fish pot, you know, I mean, we're lucky to have it in our backyard basically, you know, like, I mean, out of Abbeville. I never knew it existed. Yeah. Until, Matter of fact, I never knew it existed until uh, those spiders came in that day. Yeah, you had a different plan. Originally. Yeah, I was going to go. I was going to corporate or airlines. Yeah, yeah. Well, well no, no, originally, yeah. originally, I I you, go, um, yeah, you're I, right. Originally, I, I was. Going, going, I wanted to go to Alaska. Yeah. See, I remember all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Just not what I did yesterday. Oh yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In ten years, you were. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, yeah, I freaking bought a school bus dude and was going to convert it to a house because i wanted to go me and my family were going to move to alaska yeah. an rv because me and my family were going to move to alaska you wanted to and be i didn't know where i was going to end up because alaska is so big and so many yeah. i was going to try different places until i figured out where i wanted to stay and corporate was in the back of my mind too yeah and uh all that stuff but then fish button came along yeah um because they do have some good companies up there that do fly airlines you know 121 and 135. Well, you were going to be a bush, weren't you? I thought I you wanted really to be a bush, to be a bush pilot. pilot. Yeah, yeah okay. that's really what I wanted. That's why yeah. I got my seaplane ratings and tailwheel yeah. endorsements and yeah. all that time. And I have a, a little over 100 hours tailwheel time and flying that plane around. And uh, that Cub, that was fun. I missed that flying. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, it, anyways, so yeah, I was going to pursue that route. But this job was good. I couldn't turn it down. And then I was like, well, you know, I think like a lot of people do. They get the job and they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna build some time. Yeah, apply this job for yeah, a couple do seasons, it for a little while, yeah. build some time and leave." Well, it's a good job, you know. Yeah. It's got a lot of good aspects to it, 
And there's a lot of quality, you know, a lot of time off. So I get a lot of quality yeah, time. Yeah, you get to, a whole six months off, pretty much. Five months, it? two weeks, yeah. Five, but okay. yes, essentially. Yeah. And uh, I mean, the season, I'm home every night. During the season, working, yeah. I'm home every night. Off most weekends. How does it work, like, if you le- if you work the later shift, you don't come in in the morning, huh? You don't do the I don't morning come, shift? I come, yeah, I come, no, I don't do the morning shift. So every other week, one week I work early shift, second week I work late shift then it yeah. flips like that through the season but what i'll do is i'll fly late till dark and then the next morning i gotta be in i gotta be at the airport by eight and i take off i'll be over the boats for nine so even though i work till dark you know like on the middle of summer yeah. I don't get dark till nine o'clock yeah and i'm not getting home till 10 close to 10 o'clock it gets tough in the middle of the year yeah. because the days are so long but it's only for about what a month and a half to two months in the middle of the season that's that's the tough part yeah you know, the days are real long and it's yeah. grueling yeah I but remember uh hearing you on the radio sometimes you sound tired oh yeah 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 but like going to abbeville because a duty day is like yeah. what 16 hours or something yeah you know if you want to consider your your day yeah right from time you leave to go to work and get home yeah right you get a break in between right there's like a so you i fly four so you leave at nine and then you come back at uh one yes and then you got a break from then till i take off so if i'm on a late shift i take off i get to get over the boats for nine o'clock so it depends on where the boats are what time i take off yeah it could be a 45 minute flight just to get to the boats for nine i get there at nine and then we get off at one okay so then you leave they, the boat they, yes at okay. one o'clock and so then i land any you know 1 30 1 45 and then i go to lunch and i got to be back over the boats for five o'clock okay so you have four hours off, but some of that's taken up by your travel. Travel time, yeah. Yeah, okay. in the air. But it's 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 nice. I mean, I'm on the ground. Typically, I'm on the ground for, you know, two and a half, close to three hours. Yeah, and uh, you can do whatever you want. And take a nap or whatever. Yeah, I go work out, work whatever, out, run whatever errands. you do, whatever it's you want to do. It's a nice job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of why I like it because, you know, you know, I don't make what I would make if I went airlines. Yeah, or, or maybe corporate, corporate or whatever. Too, yeah. yeah. But uh, it's a quality time, you know, a lot yeah. of time off, so with the family and stuff, and and I might change my mind in a few years when the yeah. kids get older. But uh, for now, I enjoy it's it. Good, yeah. So you got to get that uh, that medical thing figured out. Oh yeah, the first class that yeah, the FAA has got to get that figured out. Honestly, dude, I still <laughs> think about going back to. I still think about flying in Alaska. Oh yeah, yeah. I still, I don't know if I'll ever stop. Like, I, it's kind of one of those things where it's got to me now. It's like, you know, uh. I probably gonna have to do is that. Is it like a regret? It might a regret? be a regret. Yeah, it, it's not yet. It's yeah. not yet. But if I never do it, it probably it might become a regret. So I think I'm gonna have to do it one day. Yeah. So I uh, we'll see what happens in the future. I'm still young. So. I've never been to Alaska. That'd be uh, I think it'd be fun to go. I'd- me either. And I planned. Me and my buddy planned. Uh, we just did it. We planned yeah. a hunting trip in 2025. Oh, okay. Uh, in November to go hunt in Alaska bow hunt. Yeah. So which a bow hunt. So if any amputees out there too. Uh, Hey man, you, uh, you had a video I think I saw I, the other day on my Instagram, yeah, yeah, yeah. where you were uh, I was shooting, ho- my bow. shooting at a target, yeah, yeah, uh, mouth tab. I use a mouth tab. Uh, yeah, I pull. I mean, I'm only saying this because if somebody's in it, pull seventy one pounds. So yeah, you know, anything's possible. But I don't know if that's a lot. I don't bow hunt. I know, but somebody <laughs> <Okay>. might. Somebody <laughs> might. The only reason I said it is because somebody might be on there yeah. with my yeah. situation, and they yeah. might be like. Well, he, maybe he's only pulling back 35 pounds. No, yeah. I'm pulling no, 71 pounds. No, he's doing the regular amount, I guess. I, I don't know. That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. Bow pro here. <laughs> Anything's possible, man. Yeah. You know, you just... Just got to go do it. You know. I mean, I can I can relate a little bit to that, you know. I mean, once I started focusing here at the school, we've had a lot of changes. Yeah. A lot of... For the better, you know. A lot yeah. of things happened that weren't happening before when I was trying to juggle the corporate world. And I know. Well, I'd like to say that too. Like I've been seeing you since I remember I wasn't there at the very beginning, but I don't know how new you were. How many oh, years? I was you fairly been? new by twenty. I mean, I I bought the one fifty two in two thousand eleven, so that's I think it was September. Yeah, September. And so I mean, probably I was probably a year old by the time doing that I for a year. I Think you only time. had the one fifty two when I first met you in yeah. twenty thirteen, and then if I'm not mistaken, maybe. And yeah. then you not long after though you bought the one seventy two. Yeah. Which I was excited because I didn't want to fly in that 152. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was like, Everybody was excited. Remember, remember Troy? Yes. I should get Troy. Troy should get on here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Troy uh, was in the 152. And and then he was excited when I got the 172. Cause, yeah. 
because yeah. uh you know it's so much bigger yeah 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 uh, i remember you starting out man and and uh yeah it's it's been you know i admire watching you grow yeah to where you have come because yeah. uh i mean you got a lot going on you got this you got the videos you got yeah. multiple planes now you got multiple instructors yeah. you got a nice place here yeah and, a lot of Lafayette. blue yeah a lot of blue here in lafayette <laughs> represent the colors yeah blue shirt blue walls <laughs> yeah Blue shirt over there. Yeah. I should have brought some Pro blue Dustin there. got a blue shirt too. Why didn't you get a blue shirt? Oh, I got shirt? a blue hat. You got a blue there hat. Go. There you go. Blue chairs. Blue hat. Yeah, blue yeah. chairs. We like blue over here. I know. Blue's the way to go. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> my boy, Blue. Yeah. There you go. There we go. But, but uh, it's my boy. No, nah, but it's cool to watch people grow, you know, and uh, see where they where they go. Yeah. You know, so, you know, I mean. never given up. If you would have never decided, hey, I'm going to go do this, you know, it, it uh you might have had regret right now you might still been doing construction or i don't know you may have decided to do something else but yeah it wouldn't be flying and i tell you i enjoy flying you yeah. know it's like every well, other you, job also because of the one arm you know you might have decided yeah i mean you know if I, decided, I, oh, if I can't I, do that you see know? I, I i never listened to people really well okay which, yeah you know bad. yeah i got in trouble for that a lot but it uh that i think it benefited school. me sometimes yeah. you know in the, in the aviation world because yeah. i was like i'm gonna do this no matter what yeah you know and i've been told a lot there's been a lot of things i've been told i couldn't do yeah and it, it seemed that people would tell me something i couldn't do and i'd go do it matter of fact that's how i became a heavy equipment operator oh yeah because i yeah. wanted to get a job and somebody i think I, you t- do I think i remember you telling me that because you were trying to do that and nobody would give you you went to some classes and stuff i think didn't you learn yeah. how to operate and then yeah they wouldn't even give you a chance yeah 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 because yeah. because of your one arm they that's would right just, yeah but before i learned how to operate i tried to get a job and uh told them i'd like to work my way up and become an operator and they said well you're never ready to operate you only have one arm yeah and it like it just it that was me, motivated you. Yeah, it's like all right, I'm gonna learn yeah, this. Yeah, I'm gonna so. do whatever I can to right run prove, that backhoe. Prove this person wrong, yeah. which you know benefited me, but I don't live like that no more. I don't need to prove nobody wrong. Yeah. So yeah, but <laughs> but uh, anyways, but uh, yeah, just so yeah. Goals, I mean, you could you could have you could have just had a pity party. Yeah, and uh, you didn't. Well, thank you for coming on the elusive, flaky, one arm Brian Hayes. Next time, I don't know what what'll be what'll happen next time. Yeah, it depends on the time frame that I come back. We may never see you again. This we will be the last not. time. Might be the only glimpse. That's right, <laughs> <laughs> like a Sasquatch or something. Yeah, you know? that's right. Spot so, you in the woods. You might. You might. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think that was Brian. I saw one arm. <laughs> so flagging up in the air. <laughs> well, we don't know what the future will hold. We do not. We do not. We may not all be alive tomorrow. No, you know? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Nuclear war. No, yeah. No. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going down that one road. <laughs> I mean, I ain't got no nuclear device, you know. I'm just doing, saying what other people say. Yeah. Tales. If you've made it this far, you've listened to the entire episode. And for that, we would just like to say thank you, and we hope you enjoyed it. We would also like to thank today's guest, Brian Hayes, for joining us today and sharing his story. If you have any questions about today's episode or suggestions for future episodes, just leave a comment or message us, and we'll do our best to answer. If you'd like to check out some fun aviation videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Owens Flight Training. Or if you'd like to get more information on becoming a safe, knowledgeable, and confident pilot, just head over to our website, owensflighttraining.com.